Nintendo's the one that started it all. We had the best consoles, and we won like every console, and yeah, yeah, we're the best, we're the best, yo. Remember when the PS1 came out? It was awesome. We won, bro. And guess what? The PS2 did the exact same thing. We won again, bro. Yeah, be that. You morons forgot who won this council war. Yeah, I know, we did, because we had better graphics, yo! Well, actually, we had more sold consoles, so you kind of lost. Graphics didn't help you on that one, buddy. Yeah, remember when PSN got shut down for a whole month? And guess what? My console didn't even get that! Shut up, you two-year-old with a voice changer. I mean, we all know you're a two-year-old. Six-year-old, get it right. Get it right. Sorry. <laughs> At least my council didn't have to get an upgrade. Everyone, attention, attention everyone. Shut up. The master race has walked in. Please bow down. Hey, look, hey, look. Uh, we're on the same t side. We're made by Microsoft. Um, Can you just tell these guys, you know... To bound down to us? You're not mine. Bow down before me, or face the wrath of the ultimate race. We're on the same side. Why would you betray me? Because you're worse than me. Excuse me, everyone, we forgot who has the best graphics Ever. No, no. I have way better graphics than you because I'm upgradable. And I think everyone forgot that you were $700 when you first came out. While me, the price fluctuates between whatever, depending on what people upgrade me to. I was $600? To correct you, sir. And plus, PCs are like so... Expensive? They're like three thousand dollars. Sir, I made mine for five hundred. Well, y you're a noob. Hey, hello, everyone. Um, I'm kind of on everyone's side here. Um, can everyone shut up now so I can make a video? Thank you. Yo, 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 so today we're going to talk about, um, the next-gen consoles, and, uh, two of them are not next-gen, but they're still competition, and I've mentioned that before, but, um, I, I want to mention, you know, all of the things about the consoles and what I'm getting, and, um, I want to clear up rumors, uh, y you know, that kind of thing. So, let's begin. One thing before we start, I'm going to give a lot of my opinions to in this. I'm Again, I'm showing you what I want um, out of all these councils, you know, the one I'm getting. Um, so yeah, uh, again, let's begin. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the controllers. So, the Wii U. I love the tablet. Um, it's nice and smooth. I like the screen on it. it it's overall pretty good. Um, there, there was a bunch of other controllers that they added, and I think I'm not too sure, but um, he, I think you can use the Wii controllers on it. I, I'm not too sure. I've seen stuff like that, and why I say I really love it is because I've actually you know, played with it a couple of times, um, may maybe five times, at my aunt's house. She owns a Wii U, but I, I like how they use it. I don't really like too many of the games on there, but the controller overall is pretty good. I like it, so. Uh, the Xbox One. I love the 360 controller with the triggers, and I really think they did a wonderful job with it. 
I have the original Xbox also, and um, they're, they're pretty similar controllers, so I imagine that the Xbox One controller will be pretty much identical, because I've seen it um, in pictures and things, and they, they look almost identical. There's a few tiny things that are different, but very little things, kind of like uh, the original Xbox controller with three, with a... Uh, uh, okay, with the 360 controller, you know, there were some tiny differences. The original, original Xbox, you know, controller, the one that shipped with the console, was um, very different than the 360 controller. But they had a small, like, slimmer controller that came out, and I have both of those controllers, by the way. And that controller is pretty similar, so I, I imagine that, you know, it will be the same, and I, I kind of like, you know, Xbox controllers. So, now the PS4 controller. The PS4 controller is interesting. I like Sony's controllers, but a lot of people claim they're the best, and I completely disagree. There's... I, I don't know, the tiny little controller that they have, I don't like that. Um, a lot of other people complain about that too. I have small hands, I get that, but people with bulky hands, that is just not... No, it doesn't work, okay? Um, even with me having kind of... I, I don't know if my hands are really that small. They're, I guess, medium size. But... I, I don't like it. Um... You, you know, you just kind of bump into your other fingers a lot, and other competitors, their controllers are not like that. So, I, I don't know, I kind of don't like their controller. They added a screen for the PS4 controller, which is a new one. They didn't do this with any of their other consoles, you know, adding anything. It's always the same controller, basically. Um... <laughs> Maybe a little bit bigger or something like that, but they were all, like, the same controller. And I don't like the change. I don't like that screen. It kind of looks wimpy, the controller. I, I don't know. You know, maybe that's just my opinion. I don't know if I'll like bumping into my other fingers a lot and things, but, you know, I'll probably get used to it if I get the console. Um, and... PC. Um, the PC doesn't have a controller. I mean, you can buy weird controllers um, for the PC. I've, I've seen a lot. I actually have one, and y you know, whatever. But it, I'm talking about mouse and keyboard. I love mouse and keyboard. It's a very wonderful idea. I've heard rumors, by the way, that the PS4 may have a mouse and keyboard. I don't know if that's official or not, I've just, I've heard it a couple times, um, I, I didn't look into it, so I don't know if that's for sure, so don't quote me on that one, but, uh, yeah, I love mouse and keyboard, it, it's nice, I like it, it's just, I don't know, if you're not into mouse and keyboard, though, it doesn't really work well, um, you know, if you're not a PC gamer, that doesn't really work. Um, but I, I've always pretty much grown up being a PC gamer and kind of a console gamer too, but, you know, I like the PC controls, so let's keep going. Support. Um, the Wii U, I'm not sure. I, I completely don't know how their support system really works, but, you know, whatever. Uh, the Xbox One... Again, I don't know. I'm just going to base my knowledge on um, the 360. And I think it's okay. I, I think it's not wonderful. I've heard a lot of, you know, horrible stories. I'm sure you have too if you um, look into, like, council news and things. Um, you, you know, you hear about horrible stories, like someone gets hacked and, you know, Microsoft won't help them, or whatever, or they they go trolling and they 
if you don't know what trolling is, they just mess with people, um, and they get banned for it, and they don't get an explanation why. I've never had anything like that, personally, um, and how their support system works is you have to go onto these forums. I don't know if any other, you know, system uses this, but you go onto these forums, you talk with their support team, and they sometimes call you up, they ask for your phone number, and then they help you out. Every single time they've asked for my phone number, because I haven't, you know, I, I approached them in a nice manner, unlike probably all of these people that, you know, write these nightmares that, you know, Microsoft won't help them. You probably have to approach them a different way, you know, you gotta ask for help, not, you know, be a complete, you know, whatever. But, <laughs> uh, I, I like their support, but it's not the best, you know, but, um, yeah. Now let's go over to the PS4. Based on the PS3's information, um, I would say their support is pretty good from what I've heard, except that crash. I know all of my Sony fans are going to bite my head off that it wasn't their fault and, you know, <clears throat> they, they couldn't control it and, you know, they were getting severely hacked, but you forget... A lot of people forget, even Xbox fans, forget that we actually got hacked once, and it, it was pretty bad. And what ended up happening was Microsoft fixed it within one day. Again, one day. Not one month, one day. I, I understand that PSN is free, unlike you know, Xbox Live, but still, one month is pretty horrendous, you gotta admit that, and even if it is free, you know, you still had to pay for the council, and they should, you know, be able to, you know, help people out, but, yeah, that makes me really kind of, you know, paranoid about them. I don't like that whole one month thing. I get, you know, all my Sony fans are going to be like, we got a free game. We got a free game. I get that, but it shouldn't have took a month. You don't understand. I, I mean, it, it should not have taken a month for you to get on PSN. It, it's just horrendous. I, I don't understand why, <clears throat> but you, you pay for their counsel and they don't give you any sort of support for that it makes no sense i don't know um I, I know xbox they weren't hacked as bad um you know but still they they fixed it within a day while you guys took a month i understand you know it it was just a one-time deal but still it you know it's unacceptable so um their support, though, from what I've heard, other than that, is wonderful, but I still am not forgiving Sony for that. Um, even though I don't have their counsel, I shouldn't be mad, but, I, I mean, whatever. They might learn from their mistake, though, which is a good thing. Um, they probably won't get hacked again, knock on wood, but, um, you know. Hopefully they, they won't get hacked uh, again just like that, or they fix it very soon if they do. So, now let's go over to the PC. Um, Hardware-wise, there is absolutely no support for the PC, because most of the time you get hardware from millions of different places and companies, and it, it's just impossible, okay? There are some you know, companies that actually give you some sort of support, but for the most part, they don't. Um, you know, it, it's kind of up in the air if, you know, you have a problem, if, like, one of your hard drives don't work, you just figure it out on your own. You're kind of lost, and I, I don't know if I like that. Um, 
Now, if you get computers made by one company, that's another thing. You know, if all of the parts, all of, you know, all of the hardware uh, is by one company, you can actually get some sort of support. But if you're having a gaming PC, most of the time that's not the, you know, that's not true. You usually get, you know, parts from everywhere. And, um, yeah, and then software support's okay. I mean, it's not wonderful, but it's okay. And, uh, yeah. So, let's talk about, well, let me explain it. Um, the company's ideas on what they want on their council, or what they're going to have, I should say. I didn't know how to label this, um, so I put ideas, I guess. It's more like things that aren't on all of the councils that, you know, some councils have and some don't, and, you know, they're kind of negative things or positive things depending on whether they have it or not, you know, that kind of thing. So, let's start with the Wii U. The Wii U has free online, you don't have to pay for it, it well, you have to pay for your, you know, internet service, but not for the Wii U, you know, that's a separate thing. Um, they allow used games, there's no checkups, you know, it's wonderful. So, let's go to the Xbox One. Well, first off, you have to pay for online. It's not a big deal for me, but a lot of people, it is a big deal. I don't know, it, it's not that big of a deal for me. Because, um, you know, I pay for Xbox Live, uh, like once a year, once a month, depending on what you pay for it, but... I paid for a year, like, during Christmas or something, but, well, I got it as a present, I should say. <laughs> and, um, yeah, another philosophy of theirs is, wait for it, wait for it, no used games! Yay, isn't that wonderful? I know it's not. Well, let me explain the whole use game thing. A lot of people aren't understanding how it works. There is used games on the Xbox One. It, it It's kind of hard to explain, but there, there's a lot of rumors on how it works or whatever, but some companies can say, yes, I accept used games, they can play it on this console. Uh, some gaming companies can say, no, I don't want a used game of, you know, or whatever. And there's rumors that the people that say no, that you just can't buy a used game. There's rumors that there's an installation fee. There's rumors, <laughs> tons of rumors, okay? We don't know how that whole thing works. There is no official thing that I am, you know, I know of. Uh, Microsoft doesn't want to talk about it. They don't like that people are backlashing because of this. I don't know. But, again, it's not that big of a deal that people are making it out to be. For me, I don't like that, you know, a company can say, no, you can't buy my game, you know, uh, because someone else previously owned it. I, I don't like that. It, you know, and... I like the freedom, and they kind of took that away. So, I personally don't like it. It's not as bad as people made it out to be, though. But still, I don't like it. <laughs> and another thing that made this council, you know, like, really hated now is the 24-hour checkups. Um, people, again, don't really understand this. Here's how it works, okay? Every 24 hours, you have a little update thing, and Xbox just checks up on you. Make, make sure, you know, you're not hacking or whatever, and, you know, it's, it's kind of bad for only one reason, and I, this made me not want the council altogether. It was just this one little thing, is because... Okay, let me explain it, another thing. If you're not connected to the internet, and if every 24 hours, let's just say, you're not on the internet after that 24 hours, they make it so you can't play games, you can, once you hook up 
you know, your Xbox One to the internet, you can play again, it doesn't fry out your console, it's not, you know, I, I thought that, but if you really think about it, they wouldn't do that, okay. And I, I looked into it, and yes, they don't fry out your console, it's not as bad, again, but why I don't want the console for this one reason is, you, you know, how would I explain it? It's just the fact that it's kind of on the cloud, a little bit. Okay, let's think of it that way. Once they stop supporting it, that means you cannot play the console once it's done being supported. So why would, you know, unless they do an update at the end that makes it so these checkups aren't, you know, available and you can play offline, I don't like that. I, I want to be able to play my games um, after the console is dead, you know, and a lot of people don't really think of it that way. I don't know why, but that's how I think of it. Um, and yeah, I, I just, I don't like that. I've never liked that idea that, you know, a company can say, oh, you know what, our product won't work for you anymore because we're no longer supporting it. So, you know, you're like thousand dollars you put into this council is just kind of nothing now you know just throw it out kind of thing I, I don't like that I don't know so let's talk about the PS4 okay there's a lot of confusion with this one too you do have to pay for online I know I know I know you Sony fans are gonna be like no no we don't um, one of my friends even said that he just he didn't believe it and I, I actually looked more into it to get you know official things and the main guy at Sony he quoted that he's sorry for all of you know the the Sony fans out there but you do have to pay for PS plus to play online no matter what every online game out there, you can have the option to play offline, but they encourage you to pay for PS or PSN Plus. I, I don't know what it's called. Um, you know, to play online games. You can't play any online games um, without PS or PSN Plus. I don't know what it's called again. But the nice thing about it, though, is you get free games out of it um, if you know what PSN or PS Plus is. I don't know how it works but I guess you get free games every once in a while and um, yeah so unfortunately you do have to pay for it. I, I know it doesn't sound believable but it's official and yeah the, the reason why they said this too is because they want to have better support for their council and you know what, that might be a good thing. Don't say it's a bad thing because you get free games first off and second off you get better support. If that's really what is going on. Um, another thing is they are absolutely okay with used games. You can buy a used game. Uh, they kind of made fun of the Xbox One I guess at some conference and they showed like a video I guess you know being like here here's a used game, you know, that kind of thing. I, I didn't see it, I heard about it all over the place, but yeah, you can use used games, it's fine, you know, whatever. The PC is pretty open-ended. Um, they're okay with you hacking, they're okay with, you know, most, most things are okay with hacking on the PC, um, if not all. Um, y you know, hacking's okay, you don't have to pay for online, you can use used games, you know. The PC isn't mainly a gaming thing, but you can make it that way. And if you do, it's pretty open-ended. You can do whatever you want, you know. <laughs> it's just, I, I love that idea, and I wish councils kind of had that too, but, you know, they, they don't. They're kind of a little bit constricting, and, um... Yeah, but it, it's very open-ended, and they let you do whatever you want. Hardware. Okay, here's where a little bit of my opinions come in a, a lot more than before. 
and um, I, I'm gonna throw in some facts, but mostly is my opinion, okay? Uh, the Wii U. <laughs> I'm sorry, but why? Why? Okay, I get it's an update to their Wii console because it was so horrible, okay? That's not the official, you know, thing, but we all know that's why, okay? Even Nintendo fans admit that the Wii was horrible, graphically, okay? It was the worst thing they've probably ever come out with, graphically, okay? They were so behind, just so behind, so they had to come out with a new console, okay? And it compares right now to the consoles today. So are they coming out with another console, like the Wii U 2? I bet you they won't until a couple of years, just like the Wii, okay? It's the worst, okay? I don't know why they did that. They kind of shot themselves with that, but it's still a fun console. It's not that bad, but it is the worst out of the four I'm mentioning. Uh, let the console wars begin. Um, the Xbox One and the PS4 are identical. Don't, don't even say one is better than the other, okay? They are identical. If you look at the specs, they're pretty much the exact same thing. Just one's made by a different company, okay? <laughs> um, there's some tiny things like RAM and a couple other tiny things, but they're basically the same thing. I, I don't... People are already arguing that one is better than the other, okay? It's not. It is absolutely not. They are the same thing. I, I, I don't know. From what I've seen, they're exactly the same. All these stupid rumors that one's better than the other is completely false. They're exactly the same. Um, they definitely look next-gen. They look better, you know... I, I don't know. They're <laughs> if you ask me though, it's basically the same thing we have now, just with a little better graphics, and that's about it. But they're exactly the same. The PC depends on you. Um, it depends on what you want. You can have a computer that is from the 70s. You can have a computer that runs like one from the late 90s, like I have. Um, you can have, and, and that's not a joke, I actually have um, a computer that runs just like a computer from the late 90s, so I can play old games on it. Um, also, you can have a computer that's, you know, fairly new, you know, can't really play too many games, um, but, y you know, it's okay. You can have a brand new computer, you can have a super duper deluxe computer that you know looks like something that you know came out or is going to come out in like the year 3000 or something this monster it depends on you and you put whatever you want to put into it if you're you know making your computer um or you, you know if you're buying it from someone like a company that is completely making it, I would not suggest doing that. Um, <clears throat> unless you have no, like, hardware knowledge, then, um, I, I guess I would do that if I were you, if you don't really know. But, basically, it depends on you. The very, very last thing to mention is the price. And, <clears throat> this may sway everyone's opinion, um, you know, including all of the things before, but the price for me is kind of a big thing. I'm not going to get the cheapest, but I'm getting one that I think I'm, you know, I'm getting a good counsel for my money. And uh, let's talk about these. The Wii U is $299 for the basic model. There's two models. Uh, the basic model has a smaller hard drive, I think, 8 gigabytes, and um, it doesn't come with any games, I, th I think. And um, then there's a deluxe model for $399, uh, 
and I've seen it for $350. So, it, it kind of is in between there, I'm not too sure. Um, but the deluxe model comes with, I think, 32 um, gigabytes and a game. I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but yeah. And then the Xbox One is $499. I don't know what else it comes with, um, you know, like hard drive and things like that, but it comes with a Kinect, I know that much, a controller, and a console. Um, the Kinect is something to think about. Um, that's why it is kind of a high price. And the PS4 is $399. And it comes with a controller and a console. And I think it... I, I'm not too sure if it comes with the game. Um, same with the Xbox One. But, <clears throat> yeah, those prices may sway your opinion. And um, the lastly, by the way, is the PC, which... Again, it depends on you. What are you willing to pay for in a console? Um, it's not really a console, it's a PC, but y you know what I mean. If you're using it as a console, what are you willing to pay for? And um, me, personally, I think I paid 350 to $400 for mine. I still need a better video card, so that could be like... 450 or you know $500 if I ever get a better video card I mean it works but I can't play anything too gorgeous um, you know I I always say that I still need a better video card but I, I really don't for the games I play I play kind of old games but you know not too old um, you know I have a decent video card to start but you know, whatever. Uh, enough about my gaming PC, but <laughs> so what am I getting? And I can tell you right now that the Wii U is a no-go. I don't want it. It. I just don't want it. I've played it. It's nice. It's cool. It may be something to think about if I were you, but for what I want, it, it's not going to do it for me. I don't I don't know if I really like it. Uh, a PC, I already have, and, uh, as I mentioned before, and finally, either the Xbox One or PS4, and it, it was a hard one to think about, because I am, I guess, an Xbox fanboy, and I, I used to be, you know, a PlayStation fanboy. And I kind of collided, and I, I just thought about it in an outside view, what I really want. And I know they both make very good consoles, Microsoft and Sony. And I hate to say it, but the Xbox One is a no-go. I do not want the Xbox One. I think it's a curse from all of the horrible things I've heard. Even, no, they're not that bad, okay? I get it. It's not that bad, but I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay, from all of the things I've heard, Microsoft is not clearing it up. They're not saying, you know, whatever, you know, like, the, the whole use game thing. They didn't mention it until, like, this month, okay? It... <sighs> I, I don't like it, okay? And on top of this, I want to mention that the original Xbox, they stopped supporting instantly when the 360 came out. Well, Sony was supporting the PlayStation 2, like, fairly recently. They just stopped. But it, it, maybe, like, two months ago, maybe three months ago, they stopped. But still, that's, like, a long, long time. And, um... I, you know, I'm still surprised. They they were pumping out new uh, PlayStation 2 consoles um, before they stopped supporting it. So, you know, I'm sorry. I have to make, you know, 
part with Microsoft, I have to say goodbye. I, I don't... Their console... I, I really liked the 360. I have to admit, I liked it way more. Way more than the PS3. I've played it before at a friend's house, and, you know, I... I've seen stuff online, and I... There's a lot of reasons why I liked the Xbox 360, and almost everyone else that had the 360, why they liked it over the PS3. And, <clears throat> you know, I'm, I'm sorry, but the PS4 has won in my opinion. I will buy it unless something else comes up that's really tragic. I expect something like that. I don't wish it, but I expect it. Um, you know, something they kind of throw at us that is horrible. Um, if that's the fact, then I don't want a console. I guess I'll just go to PC gaming. But, um, from what I've heard, I want the PS4. And, uh, yeah. So that was my big rant about consoles and what I want and, you, you know, whatever. Hope you liked it. It was really long. Um, but, yeah. So, like, favorite, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Peace. You hear that, guys? My console is way better. Sure.